Well, we begin tonight in Niagara Falls with a problem that, despite state efforts, has persisted for almost a decade. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. The North Grand Island Bridge has been hit 31 times by vehicles in the past 10 years, and just last week, it was hit again. So, what's being done to stop it? Tonight, two on your side's Andy Payton decided to find out. It's a problem as old as trucks and bridges themselves. And in Niagara Falls, unfortunately, it's very common. It's not getting any better. We typically get a call once every about two weeks, maybe three weeks. Last week, this was the scene at the North Grand Island Bridge after a tractor trailer failed to clear the underpass and met its fate head on, opening its trailer like a tin can and shutting Niagara Scenic Parkway down for over six hours. Luckily, no one was injured. You're talking. 10 to $25,000 tow fee to clean that up and remove that vehicle. Trooper James O'Callaghan is a public information officer with the New York State Police and tells me this scene isn't a rare one. It is extremely dangerous. In fact, this same bridge has been struck 31 times in the past 10 years, prompting the state to invest nearly $2 million in a new collision warning system that detects a vehicle's height ahead of the bridge and if it surpasses 12 feet, warns the driver to pull over. That red light would go on at the point of no return, basically. That's the last ditch effort before they actually strike the bridge. But since its installation in May, there's been at least one collision in each of the last three months, including one just 10 days after the project's completion. You guys have these systems in place. You have the signage. What can really be done beyond that to try to prevent this? You really just have to pay attention. Maybe this is the end of your ride route. Maybe uh, you, you can't follow that GPS to a letter. You have to know what height your vehicle is and you have to pay attention to the signage. And that's really what this whole this whole thing comes down to. It's a problem as old as trucks and bridges themselves. Truck versus bridge, bridge always wins. And in Niagara Falls, that's not changing anytime soon. Now, it's important to note that these signs have prevented a lot of scenes like the one you just saw, too. And it's not just tractor trailers, but family RVs that can find themselves in a similar position, forgetting about that air conditioning unit on top of their vehicle that can put them over the 12 foot threshold. Scott and Mary Alice, this is something we're going to continue to follow and work on getting in touch with the state about other preventative measures. For now, on your side here in the newsroom, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.